Today we're going to answer the question absolutely nobody's asking. Can you run a car on a 3D printed serpentine belt? I've got in my hands, oh gosh, the 10th, 12th, 15th, 20th attempt to print this belt. And uh, the video is going to be pretty straightforward. Let's take the old one off, put the new one on, and see if the car runs, right? I do want to show you how I made it though. So while I get the old belt off, uh, let me show you how I designed and printed this. Basically what I did to model the existing belt off my car was just take a pair of calipers and go over each dimension. Then I used Fusion 360 to model the profile of the belt and then created a spline shape that kind of just curved around, which I hoped would print okay, and it absolutely did. If none of that makes sense to you, but you're interested in learning how to model stuff in Fusion 360, I'm actually working on a video course that you can sign up for the email list in the description. And whenever that's done, hopefully by the end of the month, I'll uh, send that out. In an ideal world, we would print the entire belt flat along the base. And doing that, you actually get a very clean looking belt that would probably work just fine. Unfortunately, you can't then somehow fuse these ends together. We have to print it on end. And that's very difficult to do for a 3D printer because you can't add supports. It's Tipple topple, tipple toppling, it's tipple toppling. There's attempt one, attempt two, attempt three, attempt four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are in here. Uh, this belt runs the water pump and the alternator, both which are okay for like five minutes of the car running without the belt. At least that's what I read on one forum post. So I hope they're right. One's around the base of this one. Really, I should do the bottom first. I think I just got it. I think it's on. Okay, so there it is. All right, here goes nothing. Oh gosh, I should probably give it one last once over, right? Looks good, going around, goes around. The other belt looks good. All right, Jackie, let's just do it. Yep, I'm gonna stand off axis here. Yep, ready? Crank it! Oh my gosh, it's working. It's slapping all over the place. Oh my gosh. Okay, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Holy crap, it worked. It like legitimately worked, but it was going like this, and it was hitting the other belt and starting to peel. So I think if I get it a little bit tighter, we might be able to actually run this thing. Hold on, you hold this one. <laughs> okay, this time we're going around the block. Go ahead. It is legitimately turning the engine, oh my gosh. Uh, I think we're gonna lose it here. It's flapping around. Okay, let's do it real quick. Let's go around the block. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yep, I think that was it. Nope, yeah, turn it off. All right, well, can you run a car on a 3D printed belt? Yes, you can. Just not for very long. <laughs> yeah. Need the dramatic eyeglasses off. Well, we did it. We ran a car on a 3D printed belt. Not for very long, but I thought, I didn't think it was gonna work. I just didn't. And the belt is still on, technically. It's on there right now. There's a failure point. That's all that's left of it. I can't believe those even hung on. I'm impressed, I don't know about you guys. Well, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you had fun watching. If you have any more ideas for wacky things to 3D print, I'm definitely hot on 3D printing right now. So uh, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Uh, see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye. All right. Well, I blew out all of the old uh, rubber in there, put the old belt back on. Let's see if we uh, caused any permanent damage. Good start. Looks good to me. We did it.